Hey guys, Pat Loves Vance here. This is not going to be a Carolina Reaper Grove video. For this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about the Kentucky Derby that's running tomorrow. If you follow my channel for any length of time, you've probably seen some of my Kentucky Derby picks from, from past years. They've been kind of hit and miss. Last year, I had three of the four that finished in the money. I just had them in the wrong order. Uh, I had Mendelssohn picked as, as the winner. He ended up finishing dead last. But in my defense, I did have Justify audible and good magic i just had them in the wrong order this year i want to talk a little bit about the kentucky derby and, and my picks for the top four horses and why i think that they will be the top four and why i think they will finish in the positions that they will finish in i'm sorry about this video i know it's kind of shaky i'm just holding my camera with one hand i don't have a webcam i'm just doing this with my phone but hopefully this will kind of help you narrow some of your picks and uh, hopefully help you uh with your handicapping okay so let's get to it um, I'm looking at my computer screen. I'm trying to hold it. Sorry about it. Um, for the winner, I'm going with Game Winner. I think Game Winner has the skills to get it done. Um, I, I think that uh, he will be running down the stretch. I liked his performance in the um, Bridges Cup Juvenile back in November. That's when I first kind of uh, had my eye on him. Um, liked how he was able to... Uh, overcome adversity in that trip didn't have a good trip in that race but he still managed to win it didn't have anything go his way really if you if you go back and watch the uh, breeders cup juvenile race um didn't look like he break broke from the gate all that well uh bumped in the stretch by nick's goal uh still was able to run nick's goal down on the outside and go on to win it um just beaten by two horses in his last outs, he was beaten by a nose by Omaha Beach, who is now scratched and out of the Derby. Uh, I hate to hear that. I was hoping that we would see a repeat of that and that uh, Game Winner would be able to run him down. Omaha Beach is out of it. I think that makes Game Winner just that much better. He'll probably go off as the uh, favorite right now. He's favored to win the Kentucky Derby. Look at the history of the past few years. The favorite at post time has been the one that went on to win it. So I'm picking Game Winner to win the Kentucky Derby tomorrow. Okay, let's look at our number two spot. Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, winner of the Wood Memorial, Tacitus. A another good horse like Game Winner got the tactical speed. Going to be closing on the field. If he can do what he did in the Wood, he's going to be a major, major threat in the Kentucky Derby. I don't know if he's going to be able to catch Game Winner. He may very well do it. He may have stepped up it to the point where he's going to be run down the stretch and, and can outrun Game Winner. I'm going to put him in the two spot in this race. Wood Memorial closed a seventh link gap between the pace horses as they entered the uh, the far turn and, and uh, made the, the stretch uh, run for home. Closed the seventh link gap. Closed on the winners. Was able to outrun Tax on his outside and, and won it. If he can do that again in uh, at Churchill on the Churchill track, he's going to be a major threat. So I'm playing him in the number two spot. Third. Maximum security. What can I say? You, you can't not bet a horse that has won every race. Uh, uh, people say he's lightly raced. You could have made that same argument about Justify last year being, being lightly raced. Justify only had three wins. Three races, three wins. All of them on the same track. Uh, maximum security, four races, four wins. How can you not bet that horse if you're an exotic better like me your trifectas your superfectors i think you've got to play maximum security somewhere in there i'm putting him in the number three spot really considered him playing two or even one spot but i I'm, i still think he's probably not going to be able to beat game winner or tacitus either one so i'm playing maximum security in the number three spot four spot this is a tough one because honestly i can see about half of the field hitting that number four spot um I'm going to go with the Toyota Bluegrass Stakes winner, Vacoma. Uh, I'm working under the assumption that he is, is still progressing. Um, I was tempted to play win, 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 who finished second to him in the Toyota Bluegrass Stakes in my number four spot. The reason I didn't is because uh, I, I just like Vacoma better. I think Vacoma, if he gets his uh, best run, can probably win this thing, or not win it, but at least hit the the, the board. Uh, should get pretty good value. Last I checked, he's going off at fifteen to one odds. I don't know if he still will be at post time, but if you hit him in the superfecta with those chalk horses, you should still get some value. Uh, I don't know. 
couple thousand dollars, maybe at least a thousand, even if the chalk horse is finished one, two, three. But Coma gets in there at 15 at one. Not a bad payoff if you can hit that super factor. What I'm probably going to do is is uh, play him with a few other horses in a 50 cent trifecta box. Uh, my top five right now, let me look. In my 50 cent trifecta box, I got game winner, Tacitus, Improbable, uh, Maximum Security, and Vacoma. Going to box up those in a try. Hope they hit. So that's my picks for the Kentucky Derby tomorrow. Good luck to everybody. Let me hear what your picks are. And, uh, Hope for a good trip for all these horses. Looks like it's going to be a sloppy track, but hey, used to seeing that. It happens usually first Saturday in May. We've, we've seen that in past Kentucky Derbies, so I don't think uh, that'll be that big of a deal. Just uh, play those mutters. I think I got some good ones in my list, and uh, hope Lady R Luck rides with you. Thanks for watching.